Welcome back, guys. Um, this is another episode of We Wash Weed and Firefly. Firefly. So the last episode that we watched was Bushwhack. Bushwhack. This episode was called Shindig. Parties Shindig. are much better than Reavers, I think. I, I mean, one would hope. Yeah. Shindig. All right, well. Shall we? Let's do this. I'm gonna say this is like a memory game. I understand your time on our planet is limited, and if you've selected my proposal to here, then the honor you do me flatters my my honor. <laughs> and I hope <laughs> yeah. what a nerd. How the smile made of sunlight? Atherton, how wonderful to see you. Did you get my message? I was extra appealing. What a flattering invitation. I had no idea I was arriving in time for the social event of the season. Good afternoon, Captain. Morning. He always knows when to come. We're downing in. Always. Case don't kill us all over the time. It's like he's waiting. Yeah. Atherton Wing. Yeah, he's a regular, ain't he? I've seen him before. Must be rich, too. For your rights. I suppose. He's engaged me for several days. Jeez. <laughs> Boy, must have stamina. <laughs> he does. Well. Make him jealous. Yeah. Make him jealous. Tell me. Do all the men there pay for their dates or just young rich ones with stamina? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the women there will not be companions if that's what you're asking. Perhaps the other men couldn't distract one. Hmm. It sounds like the finest party I can imagine getting paid to go to. I don't suppose you'd find it up to standards of your outings. More conversation and somewhat less petty theft and getting hit with pool cues. Not enough bar fights for <laughs> now. Mm. Hey, look at the fluffy one. Too much woofera. If I'm gonna wear a dress, I want something with some slink. You want a slinky dress? <laughs> I can buy you a slinky dress. Captain, can I have money for a slinky dress? <laughs> gotcha, okay. I what are you gonna do in that rig? Floats around the engine room? Be like a sheep walking on its hind legs. <laughs> oh, no. Don't lash out at her because you feel emasculated. Uh huh. You know that sound. Yeah, huh? How'd you in Sam? Some property wants to sell off planet. That's your high price. The local powers will let him sell off world. It's a conundrum. All my man Arrow needs is sell as a smoke. Willing to cut you in on it. My dude. You have yeah. access to ships, you can do it yourself. Won't right, deal with me direct. Take me a rational dislike. <laughs> what happened? Is he a fake? He's a quality gent. Nose in the air like you never won Guapi. Don't find me respectable, but you. You, I think, have got a chance. He backed out of a deal last time. Left us hanging. Hurt our feelings. <laughs> you recall why that took place? Had a problem with your attitude, is why? I felt you was. What's the word? Pretentious. <laughs> exactly. You think you're better than other people. Just the ones I'm better than. Mm. And now I'm thinking that very quality is the one you're placing value on today. I place value on the fact that stick up your pigou. It's about as large as the one that Harrow's got. How would you even set up a meet? That won't deal with you. No place it'll be. Safe place. Using some new tech gun scans. High class, too. Wouldn't let me in there. You might slip it. Of course, you couldn't buy an invite with a diamond the size of a testicle. <laughs> I got my hands on a couple. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Atherton Wing and Inara Sarah. I find I admire you more and more. <laughs> Kaylee. She's mad. Not speaking to you, Captain. Got no need to speak. Come on, got a job for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can live here on Persephone as my personal companion. You belong here in our, not on that flying piece of gossip. You see that, don't you? Not a tin language. What? <laughs> piece of gossip? But it is a piece of gossip. Miss K, win it, please ride and escort. Kaylee? She got to wear the she pretty got to wear dress. The dress. And look how uncomfortable Mal looks. <laughs> oh, gossip. These girls have the most beautiful dresses. And so do I. How about that? Yeah, well, just be <laughs> careful. We should have you out a good money to buy that frippery. And you're supposed to make me look respect. Yes, sir. Cat in tight pants. <laughs> I'm looking for our guy, Harold. Have we been introduced? Oh, I'm Kaylee. Banning. Everything's so fancy and there's some kind of hot cheese over there. <laughs> it's not as good as last year. 
Oh, really? What did they have last year? Standards. Potter cheese? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Who made your dress, Kaylee? Oh, do you like it? When I saw the ruffles, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> you want to see your girl. Shamu? Your girl? She's not very good. She made you a dress that looks like you bought it in a store. Oof. Oh. Why, Banning Miller, what a vision you are in your fine dress. How dare they take a dozen Kaylee. slaves a dozen days to get you into that get up. Oh, of course, your daddy tells me it takes the space of a schoolboy's wink to get you out of it again. Oh! See ya! Yeah, get out of here! Forgive my rudeness. I cannot abide useless people. I think that's the guy they're looking for, too. Hmm. But would you be Miss Warwick Harrell? Sir, Warwick Harrell. Well, that's the sash. The sash? Mm -hmm. It indicates lordhood. And it's. it's doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> they stick out. Sir. Sore thumbs. My name's Malcolm Reynolds. I kept in a ship named Serenity. I mention this because I've been led to understand you want to move some property oh, off the world. <laughs> uh, Eyes on the prize. Some property. Now. You want Eyes to move off the world discreetly. The prize. You're throwing off your game no to hear sir. your girl giggling. I'm an honest man. It seems to me there's nothing dishonest about getting your goods to people when need them. Whom do you represent? Hello, called Badger. I know him. And I think he's a psychotic lowlife. And I've been calling him now as an insult yes. to the psychotic low-left community, but the deal is solved. Sorry to interrupt. So Warwick, I know you from the club. From the club? Captain, this is Atherton Wing. <laughs> Atherton, Captain Mel Reynolds. Pleased to meet you. Fight. Anara. Fight. I realize you're going to this Fight. party. <laughs> if we know anything about now. I can now. see why. How about that floating chandelier? I, I probably don't have that long to wait. Almost our girl here. <laughs> ah! Did I call you out? Oh. Anara has spoken of you to me. She made a point of your generosity. Given that, I'm sure Indiana. you won't mind Stand if I ask Anara the favor of a dance. Of course, it's got paid for. <laughs> You're a brave man. I know it's not. Who? Oh. Is this the hardest part, would you say, or does that come later? <laughs> you know, Paul tried to make me ashamed of my job. What I do is legal. My work's illegal, but at least it's honest. What? Well, this, the lie of it, that man parading you around in his arms if he actually won you. As if he loves you. These people like me and I like them. He did just I say like I know what's too, mine. Way. Oh, well, sure. What's not the like? You may think he doesn't honor me, but he wants me to live here. You got the right to a decent life. I'm not saying the 804 is hard to repair, it just ain't worth it. It's there a fine machine, you just keep it too. <laughs> it's like we're sure the extenders ain't braced. I've been telling them to buy an 8010 for years. <laughs> Those tenders snap off, don't matter how good the engine's cycling. Miss right. Kelly, I wonder if I could request Wait a minute, let her talk, she's talking. By the way, the 8010 is the same machine. They just changed the plating. Hope no one noticed. <laughs> it's possible you were right. This ain't my kind of part. We danced. It was fun. Excuse me, she's not here with you, Captain. She's mine. Yours. Mm -hmm. I should have belonged to nobody. It's that fight we might be looking at. We changed hands, which makes her mine tonight. No matter how you dress her up, she's dead. Oh. Turns out this is my kind of party. <laughs> what? Man, was out of line. I accept. That's great. What? There has been a challenge. Well, you all talking about a fight? Well, that's fine. Let's get out of here. It's not a fist fight, man. No, the duel will be met tomorrow morning at yep. K3 Pond. <laughs> oh, why wait? <laughs> Any gentleman here can give you use of a sword. Use of a sword? <laughs> He's an expert swordsman. He's killed a dozen men with a long blade. Oh, big yikes. Really, all that gave him a reason. Come with me, please. Now, you take me on this job. I'll take on this. my second. Does this mean we're in business? It means you're in mortal danger. This guy sucks. Yeah. A duel? With swords? <laughs> the captain's a good fighter. He must know how to handle a sword. I think he knows what Jen to hold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just need to figure out how to get him out of there. Oh. Jane. I wouldn't. Why not? Oh, that's why. Hi. <laughs> hey. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> how come you're still dressed in? Because it's my decision, not yours. Thought he made it pretty clear he's got no regard for you. You did manage to push him into saying something, yes. Made a nice justification for the punch. He insulted you. I hit him. Seemed like the thing to do. So noble. Mm-hmm. Why'd this get so complicated? Well, it's about to get simpler. What if you showed There's up? a back door. The desk clerk is on alert. He'll let us out. Oh, no, I'm not running off. It's not that simple. I don't simple. know what you got in your head. I didn't do this to prove some kind of point to you. I actually thought I was defending your honor, and I never back down from a fight. Yes, you do. You do all the time. <laughs> well, 
Yeah, but I'm not backing down from this one. <laughs> He's an expert swordsman, Mal. Paul. Paul! Oh. <laughs> Who's that there? Which story, love? Yeah, just, I want to know too. Just, uh, just a passenger? Yeah? I got a secret. <laughs> More than one. Don't seem like they'll tell him to you, no, do it. And even off that, and Colleen is better to talk to strangers. You're talking about the both of us now, ain't you? Sad little king of a sad little hill. Ooh. Nice to see someone from the old homestead. <coughs> Not really. Call me if anyone interesting shows up. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it doesn't even insult him. He's like, yeah, okay. It takes less than a pound of pressure to cut skin. You know that? They teach you that in homework, Academy? Mal. You have a strange sense of nobility, Captain. Dude. You'll lay a man out for implying I'm a whore, but you keep calling me one to my face. I might not show respect to your job, but he didn't respect you. That's the difference. Don't take his offer. What? Don't do it. Don't leave me. Let's be careful, Ath. Yeah, these things are sharp. Mm. He thinks he's doing well, doesn't he? <laughs> he absolutely does. <laughs> I'm doing great! <laughs> oh. What's he doing? I don't fall for that! <laughs> oh. Atherton, wait! I I'll stay here. Exclusive to you, just let him live. Well, that's pretty hectic. <laughs> Ooh. You have to finish it, lad. Ooh. For a man to lay beaten and yet breathing, it makes him a coward. It would be humiliating. Having to lie there while the better man refuses to spill your blood. Mercy is the mark of a great man. Oh. Guess I'm just a good man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, mercy Nana. punch! Yeah. You've lost her, lad. Be gracious. You set this up, Paul. After I bought and paid for you. I should have ugly you up so no one else would watch you. Oh! See how I'm not punching him? I think I've grown. Well, get ready to starve. I'll see to it you never work again. Actually, that's not how it works. You see, you've earned yourself a black mark in the client registry. No companion is going to contract with you ever again. You'll have to rely on your winning yeah. personality. Flip that name. script. God help you. You're gonna have to rely on your winning personality. And that pretty face. Oh, wait, that's oh. messed up too. You willing to fight that hard to protect my property? I'll have it in your hold before midnight. Sounds like they got a deal. Sweet, I'll be in the infirmary. <laughs> Did you ever see such a lazy crew? It's Captain. You're hurt. Yeah, a little bit. I got a deal. Now get off my ship. <laughs> Tell very much for loving Ina. <laughs> she just likes to look at it. <laughs> ah, I noticed that Carlo Rossi bottle. Mm hmm. <laughs> Very fresh. To Kaylee and her inter engine Best fermentation system. Mm. Hmm. Are you in pain? Got a nine dollar jug wine. Mm -hmm. I got stuff, you know, right here. Uh, I saw. I don't care much for fancy parties. She It was difference. entirely a disaster. I got stabbed right here. You also lined up exciting new crime. It's good to have cargo. Makes us a target for every other scavenger out there, of course, but Sometimes that's fun too. I am grateful, you know, for the ill-conceived and high-handed attempt to defend my honor, although I didn't want you to. They're gonna be nice to each other. What? Gracious as it is. They don't do that. As I look back, probably should have stayed out of your world. Mm. My world? If it is that. I wasn't gonna stay, you know. Yeah? Why is that? Oh, someone needs to keep Kaylee out of trouble. And all my things are here. Besides, 
why would I want to leave Serenity? Can't think of a reason. <laughs> So that was more of just a little fun, a fun episode. Yeah, it didn't, I feel like it didn't, you know, the overall, I mean, with the exception of River going off into her interesting little right. uh, bit of business there, it didn't do too much for- The overall plot. The overall plot, no. but uh, still a, a fun watch. Yeah, unfortunately, when you don't know you're only gonna have one season, you do these kinds of episodes for fun, for mm -hmm. filler. But in the grand scheme of things afterwards, when we know there's only one season, it just, it seems a little wasteful. It is. It's, and disappointing in a way, but I can't really feel disappointed for anything because I don't have anything to compare it to. Fair. And it's always fun to see sword fights and- Sword fights are great. Mal getting into trouble as per I, usual. You know, quips aplenty. Yes. That's why I like this so much. Yeah, well, let's get to the next episode. All right, guys. Well, this has been We Watch We Didn't. And we done watched it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of We Watch We Didn't Firefly. We had a blast. Please like the video, subscribe to Fan Theory TV, and click the notification bell so you know when the next episode comes out. There are full-length episodes of this show on Patreon. You can find me everywhere on the internet at I'm the Only Nerd, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube.